Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. Uh, welcome to Smart Tech first of all. And uh, I came again today to show you about uh, one HP color laser printer. And it's a long time I didn't make any video about printers because I was on holidays before. And today I came again with a special video and because I have now a latest printer with me, HP Color Laser Jet MFP M178 NW. There is an error guys in this printer, the paper is jamming. And I will tell you briefly about this printer, uh, how to remove paper jam and uh, which are the steps we will follow to unassemble the fuser if the paper is jammed inside the fuser. So stay with me, watch the complete video. Uh, uh first of all uh, i will tell you about the paper jam if you want to release the paper it's stuck uh, mistakenly or suddenly it's stuck how you can remove it but uh, if unfortunately the paper is uh, shredded inside the fuser half is inside and uh, there's no place to remove the paper and uh, how you can unassemble the fuser stay with me watch the video we will open this printer and I will rotate my camera uh, to show you about the error. First you will see the error and then we will unassemble it and we will fix uh, the paper jam issue. So I am going to remove my, uh, I am going to rotate my camera, stay with me. Yes guys, this is the printer as you can see on my table and i will show you uh, the error it's saying paper jam inside machine it's giving an error and i will show you where is exactly the paper is jammed uh, as you can see uh, I will zoom in a bit as, as you can see guys you can see the paper is jammed inside the fuser okay first of all don't try to remove the paper with the tuser with the help of tuser you may damage the pressure roller you can see the red color roller inside this is the pressure roller if you want to remove the paper we will remove from behind first uh, otherwise don't uh, try to use the tuser I show you the tuser also uh to remove the paper from here okay guys uh, stay with me one second yes, with the help of this user uh don't try to remove the paper okay we will see there is a back door okay if you will move this I will show you with closely hold on if the paper is jammed inside uh, uh, first you will remove this back door okay uh, if you want to remove if the paper is jammed a complete one uh, how you can uh, uh, un uh, remove the paper pull this spring and move it down okay there is a jam paper inside you cannot remove until you have to release these hooks it will release the fuser. There are two plastics to remove this. Okay, then you can remove the jam. But this, this is not a jam actually. Okay, paper is jammed. You can check with this. Uh, paper is removed. Jam paper is removed. Okay, uh, put back these uh, white hooks. Uh, on the same places like before here also okay this is the transfer belt roller and the back door but i will show you guys uh, the paper is still jammed inside uh, because paper was just dis uh, disconnected uh, the guy who owned this printer he disconnected the paper now paper is half inside uh, the, the last one paper i removed this paper was uh, second time jammed because there is already one jammed paper inside so my main uh, purpose to show you these steps if you have first time paper jam you can remove the jam paper from here 
I will repeat the steps. Okay. I will repeat the steps. You can see. This is one hook here. The more pull this hook down. The right hook is here. Pull this hook down. And then there is jam paper here. You can pull this paper slowly. Smoothly it will come outside. But if by chance the paper is disconnected inside the fuser, okay, fuser, uh, we have to unassemble the fuser. To remove the paper, we have to unassemble the fuser. Okay, so for unassemble the fuser, we will unassemble all printer. From the fuser, we will remove the paper. Uh, if you have first time jammed, you can remove the jam from here. And after this, pull back these uh, hooks. So now, what to do if we want to unassemble the fuser? We have to remove this cover and the cover behind one. And this cover no need to remove. And the scanner, the top, the top one is scanner. So step by step, we will remove, uh, unassemble the printer. I'm going to remove the tray. Okay. And then we will remove this cover. I will. There are two screws here. I will unsemble this also. Stay with me. There are four screws here. One, two, and three and four. We will remove these screws. Take time. Hold on. And then after we remove the four screws from behind, we will remove this. Uh, from front right side cover we will move open this door front cover and there are locks here with the help of these locks okay look the door came outside slowly remove this and you can see this part is getting stuck so we have to remove this front cover we will remove the front cover also This front cover, there are locks here. This locks. So we will first of all we will remove this cable and then we will remove this cable first. Then we will unassemble this the whole cover. Remove this cable. <clears throat> there is a plastic uh, upside of this cable. Uh, don't break it, remove it slowly. And then remove this cable. Then slowly move a little bit on right one. This will then assemble and keep it here. Okay, guys, now the side cover you can see it's okay. Okay, it's came outside automatically. We have to remove, keep it aside. Okay, this is the uh, cables we have to remove uh, everything, and with the top cover scanner is also we will unassemble it. First of all, uh, open this. Okay. okay. With the help of flat screwdriver, we will. Somebody. I have to use flat screw driver. Okay, with the flat screw driver, I remove the locks. As you can see. Okay, after remove this, remove this cover. Side black back cover also moved. And from here also. With the help of flat screwdriver, we will remove this. Hold on. Yes, with the help of flat screwdriver, guys, we remove this. Okay. The back cover is also removed. I will keep it there. So now you can see the uh, fuser is visible, uh, visible in front of us. Uh, I will see uh, without removed the top cover if it's possible to remove fuser. Uh, first of all, this is the fuser cable, fuser power cable. 
second second these are the cables going up these are cables for scanners and this is data cables okay uh, here we go first of all we will try to uh, and assemble the fuser without being removed this is the top scanner for this we have to remove this scanner uh, fuser power cable we will two screws here one screw is here and second screw is here we will un unscrew these two screws and then we will remove this cable then i will then we will here are the cab uh, two screws for fuses we will remove these two screws and we'll check stay with me I will unassemble it. Here it is. Here is the cable. And we will remove this cable from here. This is fuser power cable. Okay, guys. It's better to remove stops top cover also. It will not take time. Before to remove the top cover, we will first of all we will there's a lock here for scanner. With the help of this lock, push little up and we will be able to remove the scanner. This is the lock. We'll push this lot a little up and we will remove, be able to remove this okay now you can see i pulled out the scanner and we have to remove uh, disconnect these cables to uh, pull this up okay, remove this cable and this okay. we'll keep it here so we will be disconnect the fuser easily uh, here is one cable more. This is coming from the board. This cable. This top cover we have to unassemble. This top cover. There are four screws here. Right? One screw is here. One is one is here. You can see one screw is here. And same like here two screws we will unscrew this and the top cover will come up and also here are two screws one screw is here and one screw is here right here we will open these screws because we have to lift this top cover upside okay uh screws are open now we will lift it okay it's stuck here See, we are able to this cable is coming with this. See. What tells left? Uh, this is this 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 cover was getting stuck. You can see. This is removed. This is a top cover. Can keep in mind that the things we are moving first, uh, the moving in the last, the things we are moving in the last, we will fix first. Last in, last out, first in. <laughs> you can, you can remind this, memorize it. Okay, this is the this was the fuser cable that we removed earlier, and the white cable for heater, uh, paper sensor or heater. I think we will remove this also, and we will pull this cable from here. Very close. There's one lock, tiny lock inside. Look, you can see the tiny lock. Remove oh, this lock. The fingers cannot go inside. With the help of flat screwdriver, you can remove this. Oh, look, 
to remove it with the help of nails okay guys okay finally cables are removed so now four screws one two three four uh, why I told you to remove the top cover because these cables is I think a bit hard uh, to remove from here until we have, will open the top cover if you are going to unassemble the fuser and you think that uh, you don't need to top uh, remove the top cover you can try like this no issue uh, fix it uh, if anything feasible for you remove these four screws I will remove first and let you know yes okay screw I remove the screws okay uh, pull it down the rolling pad these two hooks are also pull it down it's stuck in the fuser see smoothly fuser is in our hand here we go look you can see the paper is jammed it was jammed inside and the guy tried to remove the paper with the user so you don't try to remove the paper with the user I mentioned earlier already don't try to remove the paper with the user because it can damage the pressure roller and the pressure roller is cost more if the technicians are watching this video so you have to make sure that uh, you should you should uh, be careful uh, when the touching of the pressure roller uh, sometimes it can damage uh, the pressure roller you have to buy a new one so second thing uh, the fuser inside there is a fuser uh, heater is actually heater is inside this pressure roller this model is not same like 2055 or 2035 it's a different type, kind of different we will open we will open the cover to remove this paper which two screws i will show you which screws we have to open hold on yeah these screws this these screws we will open and we will remove this paper now these two screws I mentioned I remove the screws from here now I will open this here from here Look. this was the paper it was jammed inside you can see you should be careful not damage anything make it little clean the pressure roller also look uh, damaged uh, a kind of this damage it will work uh, again but maybe from the some part of paper it will misprint or something like this okay right now I don't have a new pressure roller to change this and we will use the same one and you can see the heater is inside be careful the heater is very sensitive and some tiny part is connected with this this part okay so just remove the paper if you have a new pressure roller you can change it otherwise fix it back like same open before the paper is removed now we will fix this back again same way we opened it these two screws i fixed back okay now we will we will put uh, insert this fuser is back to the printer and you can see this is a hitter film this is a film is also a bit dirty you can clean it slowly without being damaged you clean it a bit because your pen is already sometimes the new printers clean the film by itself so this is a structure you can see if you are going to open first time now we will we will fix back this unit fuser unit inside same way you open this we will fix it back look at this shape will come like this first i will insert this cable here with my second hand okay uh, then we will fix it add the cable back from here and put it inside okay very smoothly it is inserted and from here there, as you see before this cable we should put it back here normal you can do it if you want to do it okay. we'll put back here two screws 
सेम वे सेम वे वी असम्बल इट वी विल असम्बल बैक टू स्क्रूज हेयर एंड टू स्क्रूज हेयर सेकेंड वी विल फिक्स बैक द केबल्स एंड देर इज अ वन पार्ट वी ओपन इट वी विल फिक्स इट एंड देन द टॉप कवर आफ्टर द टॉप कवर देन स्कैनर एंड देन द ऑल कवर्स ठीक है लेट मी टाइट द स्क्रूज आई विल बी बैक Four screws have been fixed, and don't forget to pull back these hooks again. Here, left one. Here, the right one. See, there's a lock here. Look, it should be fixed well. Pull back this slowly. Now, move the back cover, and here also, I will fix the cable inside. This cable will come over here, and this cable will come through this jack from here. You can get little from here. You can. Okay, guys. These cables we will uh, insert again right after we will fix the scanner. And this is the uh, main board cover. Same like you uh, removed it, you have to put it in. This is the main board cover. Here, like this, one screw is here, one screw is here. Okay. The second thing, we will put the top cover and the scanner. Okay. This top cover, I put it on the printer, and this is the cables over here. Uh, we will keep as it is. This is a magnetic part. I will fix it. The important thing is, four screws. We have to, we have to keep it mind. Look, this is not right place. And same here. Still, it's not on the right place. We have to fix it well to insert the screws. So, from the both sides, you will see. Top cover should be fixed well because uh, this power scanner unit will be held on this top cover, and if you do not fix it well, it's not going to uh, close properly. So I will fix it. Uh, I need my both hands. Hold on. Uh, I fixed this guy. I uh, fix it. Uh, this top cover. I want to tell you one important thing. Uh, you will see uh, this. Uh, now we will, uh, as you know, we will put our scanner on the upside this these two locks here these two locks will, will fix inside these holes uh, right after when we will put our scanner uh, i will show you uh, these two locks will come over here and the scanners there is a sec uh, there are one uh, two locks in the scanners these two locks will fix with the scanner downside uh, this is a little tricky, so you have to be careful about it. You, your scanner will not work properly. It will not open and close until you will fix this well. These two hooks will come inside a down good look. It's automatically, when you will pull down, it's automatically, removed. look, close it. It's open, the fuser. Okay, I will close it again. Okay, it's, it's automatically fixed. The main thing is you have to, these two uh, hooks, we have to fix it with the scanner door. And we will fix these cables. Okay, first of all, now we will 
put our scanner back. This is our scanner. Scanner actually when I removed, I didn't show you before. Scanner will, will move from here. And I will show you. Let's see. Okay. Do you see here? And this is the so Before we put it back, we will insert these cables from here. Yes, okay. Uh, cables uh, have been fixed back. Uh, make sure that you insert the cables on the right places. Okay, don't mix it up. Now, this was the part that we removed before. We will fix it here. Okay, here you see. This was here before, okay. And now, we scan it back. This was a lot before I made it. Okay, it's fixed fine. The thing I was telling you before, this is these two hooks we will fix it here. Okay. first and then the side cover and then the front cover first of all we will fix our back cover before we come to the back cover we have to keep in mind there are two back sides one is this these two holes these two holes here will come to this part okay so before you fix it fix it outside first difficult you can do it uh, smoothly if you are a technician even if you are a home user or consumer you can do it at home and these new models personally to be honest I don't like much because this is uh, not uh, like strong and uh, reliable like old models there are old models of HP are more reliable so I mean, do it slowly it is very very low, soft plastic don't uh, break it or don't damage this okay it's in the place now have to push it later slowly you can punch also you can punch also you can max slowly whatever whichever way you know just do it main thing you have to fix it well without being damaged okay now the first part is the side cover then the front cover so the side cover also i will move it later from the cover because there is a lock in the background sorry I have to use my both hands. Hold on. I fix it. Okay. Here we go. The front cover. Let's check this. It's uh, fixed well. Uh, yes, it's fixed well. Okay, here we go. This is the front part that we removed earlier. Uh, not difficult from the right. We will insert inside the right. And there are two hooks, three hooks, four hooks actually. Not two or three, there are four hooks. One, two, three, four. Okay. In the hook, we will. fixed fine you can see there was one plastic before i removed uh, from here it's uh, while i was opening it it was broken for me i will put back again same as it is first i will fix this cable this cable is fixed 
it was it was here before because to keep the cable safe okay look it was here like this this is not important even if you don't fix it but better to put it as it is look it was like this before and oh wow it's fixed back finally uh, I don't mind uh, I don't have camera stand well to make the video my main purpose is to teach you how to open and assemble the printers new model printer or fuser and now what is this let me insert the fix like this okay, now we will connect our power cable to check is the paper jammed again or not we have to turn it on from here system initialize I am hopefully it will work uh, main thing is uh, you learn how to unassemble the fuser of this model. This is a new model HP color laser jet MFP 178NW. Warming up, you will give the command. Okay, set it to copy. If I will go in the menu, copy setup, system setup, network, copy feature, system setup, machine setup, capacity report. And go to the port configuration demo network supply info yes you print a page check is it jamming the paper paper tray paper empty in tray no. see you can see you know the pressure roller I show earlier uh, there was damage before look these signs are due to this pressure roller that is damaged so, okay guys uh, the printer isn't ready now it's, uh, this was the printer we fixed it and you know how to uh, now you know how to uh, unassemble this Yes guys, uh, hope you understand this, uh, if uh, my main purpose was to teach you how to unassemble this new model color laser jet, if the paper is jammed, you can remove the jam from behind, if its paper is cutted inside the fuser, don't try to use the, uh, paper is cut inside the fuser, then don't try to use the fuser to avoid the damage of pressure roller. Uh, unassemble the fuser, remove the papers from inside, fix it bad properly and uh, hopefully it will work fine with you. If you have any question you can ask me in the comments. Uh, I really appreciate your feedback uh, and uh, I can encourage you encourage me to make more videos and hopefully you understand it. Even though if you have any question you can ask me in the comments and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. I will love it when you will subscribe it or like the video and uh, say blessed and we'll get back to you again with any, any other video if you have any question ask me in the comments take care bye guys